The Belgian Gronendal is a multi-talented, hard-working and very smart dog breed. They adopt an interesting fact about a Belgian Gronendal. Number 1. History Belgium was always a big producer of milk and milk products like chocolate, so it's no wonder that Belgian farmers needed a lot of skilled sheepdogs who would watch over their animals. In 1800s in Belgium there was a lot of different herding dogs whose type was varied and whose coats were extremely dissimilar. That changed in 1890s when a group of enthusiasts formed the Belgium Shepherd Club and the first written breed standard was written in 1892. Number 2. Black and long haired. The Belgium Shepherd breed was determined by their typical triangular ears, squared and medium sized body and some other distinctive features, but they still differ in the texture, color and length of the hair. That is why there were and still are four varieties of Belgian Shepherds, the Gronendal, Malinois, Lacanois and Tarvuren. The Gronendal is the black long haired type. Number 3. Belgian Sheepdog. In most countries in the world, the Gronendal is recognized as a variety of Belgian Shepherd breed, but that is not the case in the USA. In the USA, they are recognized as a separate breed known as a Belgian Sheepdog. The Lacanois, Malinois and Tervuren kept their original name and are recognized as separate breeds as well. The only variety whose name was changed was the Gronendal. So in the USA, Gronendal is the same as Belgian Sheepdog. Number 4. Worker the original purpose of Gronendal is herding, but over the time this dog served for many more purposes. This is very versatile breed. They are used for protection and law enforcement, tracking, drug and bomb detection, for search and rescue and lately also as therapy and service dogs. This breed also excel at various dog sports, for example in agility, obedience and herding events. Number 5. Smart and active. Everyone who is describing the Gronendal temperament use the words intelligent and energetic. And indeed, the Belgian sheepdog is not a breed that enjoys lazing around the house. This is a worker and they need something that will occupy them physically, but also mentally. They will always be ready for long outdoor adventures as well as for interactive and task oriented playtimes and training sessions. This dog is capable of learning new commands very quickly. Number 6. Companion. This is a great companion dog, but they are just not for everyone. Most importantly, they need active owner who will provide enough exercise. If so, then they can live happily even in smaller apartments. These dogs will be happiest if they can live around their people, around their pack. They truly thrive for companionship. This is loyal, affectionate dog that bonds deeply with its owner. Number 7. Strangers. This breed is naturally protective and they are typically alert and wary of strangers. Of course, this can be vastly influenced by early socialization and this dog shouldn't be aggressive without a reason, but they can be easily trained to become excellent watchdogs and guards who will protect its people and territory. Number 8. Size this is well proportionate, athletic and squared built medium to large sized dog breed with average height between 56 to 66 cm, which is 22 to 26 inches. And weight is typically between 20 to 30 kg, which is 44 to 66 pounds. Females are a little bit smaller than males. Number 9. Maintenance. The Gronendal has a thick double coat that sheds all year long and it sheds quite heavily. Because of that they require a lot of brushing to minimize the shedding and to keep the coat in good condition. Once or twice a year they will shed extremely heavily and you will have to brush their coat every day. But they do not need any other special grooming or maintenance. Just like with all dogs you should regularly check their eyes, ears and nails and clip them or clean them if needed. Number 10. Health. The average lifespan of Gronendal is between 11 to 13 years. They are relatively healthy dogs, but they do suffer from some health issues like hip dysplasia, hypothyroidism, progressive retinal atrophy, cancer, cataracts or epilepsy. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Gronendal and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check our Instagram, Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.